So in this tutorial, we are going to write uh, some script in order to control Kukaiwa from MATLAB. So exactly what am I going to do is I am going to write types of instruction in the command window in order one to establish a connection to the robot, two move the robot to some configuration, and three to turn off the connection to the robot. Very simple program. Uh, now, as you can see, I have MATLAB open, then I have changed uh, the main directory of MATLAB to inside the folder of the Kuka Sunrise toolbox that I have downloaded from GitHub. Now, you have to open the folder MATLAB client. Inside this folder, you have the MATLAB scripts that you are going to use in order to control the robot. So before going through this tutorial, you need prerequisites, two prerequisites. The first is you have to establish a network between the controller and the PC. The second is you have to upload uh, the MATLAB toolbox server Java application into the uh, controller of the robot. Those two prerequisites, those two points, have been uh, demonstrated in the previous videos. If you have already done that, then you can proceed. So, first of all, to connect to the robot. So, what do I need? We need a variable, we call it IB, and this variable is going to contain IB of the controller. The IB of my controller is 172, 31, 147. So then I need a first argument. I'm going to call it arg1. This argument is going to contain the type of the robot that you have in your lab. So here we have in our lab the LBR7R800. I'm going to choose it. If you have the other one, the 820, you have to choose it. So then you need a second argument. And in this argument, you are going to specify the type of flange that is connected to your robot. So in my lab, I have uh, a touch pneumatic flange. I choose it. Then you need to specify a transformation matrix of, uh, of the tool center point of the end factor to the flange of the robot. Now, transformation matrix is 4 by 4 matrix. So, the 3.4 element of this matrix is the Z displacement of the two center point with relation to the frame of the end factor. And in my case, it's 45 millimeters, which is 0.0. .0 or five meters. Make sure that you have all the dimensions in meters. Afterwards, you need uh, to create an object that we are going to use to control, to call the several methods in order to control the robot from the customized toolbox. So I'm going to call this object Iwa. So as you can see, it takes the first argument as the IB of the robot. Second argument is the type of the robot. The third argument is the type of the flange. And the fourth argument is optional. Now, if you have a tool connected to the robot and you need to control, and if you wish to control 
the tool center point of the robot, you have specified this uh, matrix. Now, if you are not interested in controlling the tool center point, then you can control the flange, the the origin point of the flange of the robot, and you can omit the fourth argument. Right now, I have created the EUA object. Now, after creating the EUA object, we have to connect to the robot. So, to connect to the robot, first of all, you have to start the MATLAB toolbox server, uh, server application from the student of the robot. So, I have started it. Now, you have 60 seconds to connect to the MATLAB toolbox server if you didn't connect through uh, during those 60 seconds the MATLAB toolbox uh, server application is gonna turn off automatically and you have to start it again from the teach method of the robot before connecting to it from MATLAB now to connect from MATLAB to the controller, you have to use the function net establish connection. So you call this method, and you see that a connection has been established. If there is an error, you get an error message here. If everything went went fine, you are gonna get a message saying connection established. Right now, I am connected to the robot. So afterwards. Let me say that I want to take the robot to the home position. That means I want the robot to move to a position where all of its joints are in the zero position. So you have to say EWA dot move PTB and we are going to say home uh, joint space. Hit enter. Ah, I made a mistake. I have to specify the relative velocity by which the robot is going to move. So let me say it's 0 0.5. In this velocity, the robot is going to move a bit fast. So let me say 0 0.2. So it moves a bit slowly. And I'm going to put trail. And you see the robot is going to the home position. So afterwards, terminate the connection to the robot. You can write EWANET turn off server. This function doesn't take any arguments. You hit enter, and you can see at the teach friend end of the robot that the server has been turned off. So this is a very simple uh, example on how to control KUKA uh, robot from MATLAB using the toolbox.